All right, so in this video, we're going to take a look at uh, what's inside the Jumper T Pro. Uh, a bunch of you did request a teardown, so we're going to open it up and take a look inside. And uh, if you want to see the previous videos, I will link the playlist to all the um, T Pro videos down in the video description. But first, I want to show you that I kind of fixed that problem with the rattling gimbal protector here. You can see it's not doing that anymore. And all I did was added some foam. This is from, I don't know, some quad. I think it's like a battery pad or something like that. I just cut it up, stuck some pieces in there to cut, uh, take up some of that slack. And also I put some uh, cloth tape here on these little edges here so they're not rattling against the um, the radio. And now I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna continue to use this. So if you're not happy about the noise like I was, just go ahead and do those little mods and uh, the noise will go away. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and take the batteries out. All right, so I did remove the batteries and I uh, also removed the uh, little JR module or nano module adapter. You gotta take that off because the plug there is uh, gonna get in the way when you try and pull the back cover off. So it looks like there's five screws on each side. So there's one here, two, three, four, and five. Not really sure what these other holes are for. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this with 10 screws total that we're gonna have to uh, take off of here. All right, so here's what it looks like from the inside. So there's these really thin wires that go from, I guess from the uh, one axis to the other axis on the gimbal. I'm gonna be careful you don't snag these because they're really thin compared to some of the other wires here. You might break those. And I think they are thin so that they allow for freedom of movement of the gimbal like you can see here. And now, this is the throttle side by the way, and now we can see where the springs are. So if you want to change out your springs, it's right here. And then the spring tension screw is right there. And this is on the uh, throttle side, so it's going to be for the yaw axis. And then over here, again, uh, spring tension screw there, and also one there. And that's on the elevator and aileron side, roll and pitch. So those are the screws for that. Don't see any other adjustment screws. This does look, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's just pretty much the same as the uh, T12 and t light gimbals. Uh, they haven't changed in their design, size, or uh, feel. Although I think this, this thinner wire might be new. I'm not 100% sure about that. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, you can see the main board here. This is the battery that holds all the settings. And uh, there's the uh, STM32 chip there. It's the STM32F20. It's the main processing unit. You got your SD card slot right there. And then you have these bundle of wires here that are going from the main board to the uh, foreign one. So I'm assuming that later on when they have an Express LRS version, this is the board that's going to get swapped out for the 4-in-1 module. And you see the antenna here, uh, UFL connector, and that is running behind these wires here and up through that little hole, it looks like. There's a little hole right there. It's, you know, I'm not getting enough light in there to see, but that is where the antenna is running up to this side. You can see the corresponding hole on the other side over there. No antenna going up that way. So the, this cable is running up through that hole, into that plastic piece, into this uh, the collapsible antenna. Let's see if I pull on this, if you'll see any movement. Mm, doesn't look like it. So 
yeah, that's good. So not going to be wearing down there from uh, collapsing the antenna. You got your switch here. Yeah, looks like the boards for the switches there. And then you got your sliders, your dials here. That's the board for that, for those potentiometers. Hmm. Uh, pretty unremarkable, really. So you have your main board and you have your auxiliary 4-in-1. Uh, there you got your um, battery holders for the 18650 along with your wires. That's all pretty straightforward. It's a clean design. And yeah, I really can't, uh, really can't complain about it too much. Pretty, pretty straightforward here. Nothing weird going on. No ribbon cables like on the T18 Pro, for example. So that's um, all looking pretty good. There's a haptic feedback motor right there. Yeah, it's really basic, very clean design overall. You got your speaker there. That should do it. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of the insides of this down in the comments below. And again, the list, uh, playlist to the other videos and the T-Pro uh, videos I made are down in the video description. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Talk to you later.